Gusto kong i-intro yung aking talk dito ha. Last year, I was invited, so blessed, to go back to to where my dad was born. Ako po yung inimbita sa India para mag-talk. So tinawag nila ako as the international speaker of this gathering. This was in Kerala. Tapos, sa gathering na yan, it was a six days gathering. I was supposed to give two talks. So yun ang assignment sa akin. Two talks to 5,000 Indians. Limang libong Indians sa isang malaking compound. Doon kaming lahat nakatira. Tapos nung tinawag nila ako, sabi nila, our international speaker, Arun Gok, nasabi ko sa kanila, ha, you are getting an international speaker, but I am not a full international speaker. I am a half international because I'm half Indian. Tuwang-tuwa sila. Gusto ko ipakita sa inyo ha, kung gano'ng karami ang tao. Ha? Tingnan niyo po yan. Hello, Feast Alamang! I am here in my fatherland, India. I am preaching to God's people here. And we would like to pray with you our favorite prayer, our declaration of abundance. Are you ready? Together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Together. Today. people, six days having a retreat, listening to the Word of God. And you know, after my talk, bababa na ako, sandali lang ang aking talk, umiikot ako, tinitingnan ko yung lugar. And you know, I was observing the servants there. Tingnan nyo, ganito po ang pagluluto nila. Yan mga kaldero na yan, malaki pa sa tao. Kasi limang libong pinapakain every day. Tapos when I look at the worship team, Look at the worship team on stage. Ha? Tingnan nyo mabuti. Ito sila. Tingnan nyo. Tingnan nyo yung suot nila. Kasi sa kanila ang stage, holy. Diyan nagmimisa. Kaya pag-aakyat, walang sapatos, walang panyapak. Tapos their songs are very modern. Yung mga kinakanta ng mga singles and youth natin. Talagang modern songs. Tapos, before I give a talk or go to a TV, because they have a TV station, bago kami i-film o i-movie, mini-makeup pa na ko. At ito po ang aking makeup artist. <laughs> ang hirap paniwalaan, di ba? <laughs> Parang paniniwalaan ko ba na ganyan ang makeup artist, di ba? <laughs> Grabe. No? Nakakatuwa sila. Tapos, Ito ang gusto kong sabihin sa inyo. Why did I show you this? Ito yan. May mga TV show sila. Sinushoot kami, ini-interview. We, we were being interviewed and interviewing those who attended. Alam mo, kausap namin, we were so amazed by these people. Talagang gulat na gulat kami. Grabe ang faith. Grabe ang word of God. Tapos mamaya, Pag nandun lang kami sa labas, nakikipagkwentuhan kami dun sa mga young people, minsan sa mga parents. Tapos kami mag-asawa, 
we were really amazed by what the Lord has been doing in their lives and what they were doing in India. Kalat po sila sa India, ha? Kung saan saan. Amazed na amazed kami. At gulat na gulat sa marami naming nakausap. Tapos, nung tinanong namin sila, why are you like this? Why is your faith like this? What is your community? You know their answer? <laughs> na imagine niyo yung feeling namin mag-asawa? Na ganun, amaze na amaze kami, grabe. What community are you from? We are, we are from Couples for Christ. Alam mo yung feeling namin, oh, galing sa Pilipinas yan. Proud na proud kaming mag-asawa. And I would like to congratulate you and tell you, you are doing a great job. You are doing a fantastic job. Continue this. Continue doing this. Ako, I grew up with friends who are Couples for Christ. Tapos masasayang mga tao, kaibigan ko nandito, si Manny Espiritu, nako, kailangan yung marinig magsalita yan. Nasa ka na Manny? Kumaway-kaway ka dyan. Ayan, si Manny. Nako, kaibigan ko yung bata pa kami. We grew up serving God and he is, your, he is one of your servants and leaders here. He's a funny, funny guy. Tapos my best friend in college is also a leader of your community in Singapore. Elmer Lubusta, best friend ko ng college. Nagtitinginan nga kami last week, I was in Singapore, and we were looking at each other, and we were saying, grabe no, nung college kami sa Lasal, kaming dalawa, talagang barkada yan. Maglalakad kami sa Lasal, sa campus, sa loob, sa TAF. Anong ginagawa namin? Bakit naglalakad? Naghahanap ng chicks. May maganda rito, dito tayo tumambay, ganon. Ngayon, we are leaders of our community. Grabe. And again, thank you. Thank you for what you have been doing. You have been blessing not just the church. You are a blessing to this world. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for you. Thank you for you. And because you are blessing the world, this is my talk for you the three life-changing leadership beliefs. I want you to grasp on to these three things because this will change how you do leadership. I think some of you are doing this already. If not, try doing this because this is how the world works today. Before I tell you about this, let me also introduce a little of myself. Para naman may konting credibility, bakit ako nagtutok on leadership? Una po, I am an owner of a school. World of Wonder Preschool in Better Living. Maliit na eskwelahan lang po ito. Mga 68,000 students. <laughs> Hindi, 68 students lang. <laughs> it's a preschool. I am an owner of the school. I don't run the school. I ask someone to run the school for me so I can run away and do mis mission work for the Lord. So ako po may ari niyan, businessman. Ano pa? I also own this training corporation. I call this Creative House Ministry. We give trainings to different corporations in the world and in the Philippines. So ako po yung chairman, presidente, nagpapadala ako ng mga speakers kung saan-saan, kumpanya. But my biggest organization is our community, the Light of Jesus Family. If you're not familiar with Light of Jesus family, maybe you're familiar with the feast. I am part of the feast. I am part of this wonderful family of the Lord. We are a Catholic community serving the Lord in different groups. Our founder is Brother Bo Sanchez. And just last July 11, our founder stepped down as the overall leader of our community. Very, very young. 53 years old, nag-step down. At sabi niya, palitan na ako, mga bata naman ang mag-lead. At alam niyo kung kanino niya binigay yung leadership? Kay Aaron Gogna. <laughs> so,
So ako na po ang pumalit na leader nung July pa lang. Ako na ang next leader ng aming community. So itong kukwento ko sa inyo ay ginagamit kong leadership beliefs ko. That is why my organization is getting bigger. And I want you to do the same thing. Hope that it will inspire you. I preach every Sunday at Alabang, at Feast Bellevue in Alabang. Ito po yung schedule ko. I came there to give the talk at 9 a.m. Tapos iniwan ko na yung 10.40 sa ibang preacher because I want to be here to bless you today. Ito po yung aming itsura, kung makikita nyo. This is a five-star hotel in Alabang. Ayan po, thousands of people come every Sunday and they are being blessed by the Lord. Gusto ko tingnan nyo yung mga itsura ng mga tao, ha? Tingnan nyo yan. Naangiti. Tawa ng tawa. Bakit? Kasi yung speaker, kwela. No? <laughs> Pero hindi lang ako, kumukuha rin kami ng mga paring masayahin. We get priests who are really funny and happy to be with. Why? We believe the feast is the happiest place on earth. Because we serve a happy God. Masayahin ang aming Diyos. Kaya ito pong feast namin sa Bellevue, nakakatuwa ang mga tao. Palagi kong sinasabi yan eh, grabe ang miracle sa feast Bellevue. Sobra, magugulat kayo. May mga dumarating na mga tao dyan, naka-wheelchair. Pag uwi, marunong nang kumanta. Grabing miracles talaga yan. Ha? Kaya gusto namin <laughs> na maraming pagpalain ng Panginoon. So, ito po yung aking mga leader-leadership thing na ginagawa. Pero alam nyo, kung magaling akong leader sa mga pinakita kong organization sa inyo, dapat dito ko pinakamagaling na leader sa aking maliit na pamilya. This is my small family. This is me, my dear friends, Arun. Sige nga, itulungan nyo nga ako sa laptop ko. Arun. This is my wife, Lalaine. This is my daughter, Helene. Sige lang, huwag ka mahiya. This is my son, Johan. At nakikita niyo yung babae sa likod na yon? Sino yan? Siya ay photobomber. No? Ang ganda na sana ng picture namin. Ano? Nasira no photobomber. No? Hindi bale. I should be the best leader in my family. Do you agree? Yes? You should also be. Kung napakagaling mong leader dito sa company mo, dito sa community mo, dapat pinakamagaling ka sa pamilya. Sapagat yan ang una nating tawag. This is our first call. Because we are people, we are lay people. We are family for the Lord. So three life-changing leadership beliefs. This is the first one. First belief is I am willing to lose small to win big. Can you tell your friend beside you, lose small to win big? This, my dear friends, is marriage. Ang pag-aasawa, you lose small to win big. You rather lose an argument than lose your spouse. Yes? Naalala ko si Adam and Eve. Kausap ni Adam si Lord. Sabi niya, Lord, bakit niyo ba ginawa ang babae? Parang dismayang-dismaya siya. Bakit niyo ginawa ang babae? Sabi ni Lord sa kanya, para mahalin mo. Tapos sabi ni Adam, eh, bakit niyo po sila ginawang tanga? Sabi ni Lord, para mahaling ka. So alam niyo na. <laughs> We lose small so that we will win big. Ang Tagalog na salitang yon ay ganito kadali. Magparaya. Sabi nyo nga, magparaya. Pag marunong kang magparaya, ikaw naman ang manalo, wag ako palagi. Ikaw naman. Paraya, yan eh. Yan ang tamang leadership beliefs ngayon. 
In marriage, it should be like that. You know, I remember coming mag-asawa. Ako, I can tell you this, I have a fantastic marriage. According to me. <laughs> Ewa ko sa asawa ko, ha? Tanungin nyo sa mamaya, no? Pero, alam nyo kung saan kami natuto, malaking bagay po ito, nung kami ay bago ikasal. When we were planning for our marriage, our wedding, we were agreeing on everything, almost everything. Sino magkakasal? Saan ikakasal? Saan ang reception? Sino ang ninong at ninang? We were agreeing on those things except for the wedding invitation. Hindi kami nagkakasundo sa wedding invitation. Ang asawa ko, ang gusto niyang wedding invitation, yung walang design. Hindi yan pwede sa akin. Artist ako eh. Ang gusto kong wedding invitation, yung pag binuksan mo, may lumalabas na ganun. Yun yung gusto ko. <laughs> Alam mo, sabi niya, ano yan? Patawa. Sabi ko, ano naman niya? Wala. Tapos lahat ng samples, hindi kami nag agree Lahat ng gusto ko, ayaw niya. Lahat ng gusto niya, ayoko. Tapos we were arguing and then we need to put it aside first. Bakit? nag na kami. Or let's talk about something else. And then we were still agreeing on things. Pero mamaya, pag binabalikan na namin yung wedding invitation, nag na naman kami. Eh, malapit na yung kasal. Wala pa kaming invitation. Alam na ba sabihin mo na lang, uy, imbitado ka, ha? pumunta ka. <laughs> so we need to decide, you know, one, one night, as I was praying, this dawned on me. Sabi ko, why am I fighting the most important person in my life, the love of my life, and I'm arguing over a piece of paper that I won't even remember five years from now. Di ba? Kaya sabi ko, magpaparaya ako. Kung anong gusto niya, siya nang masusunod. nag ako nung gabing yon. Kinabukasan, nung nagkita kami, sabi ko sa kanya, love, alam mo, na-realize ko, bakit ba kita inaaway? Para sa papel na yan, na hindi ko naman bibigay sa sarili ko, ang gusto ko makatanggap, yung pag binuksan mo, tumutunog. Hindi ko naman ibibigay sa ak. I won't invite myself, di ba? I will give it away. This won't matter to me 10 years, 5 years from now. So sabi ko, love, ito na na-realize ko. Ikaw na ang masunod. Kung anong gusto mong invitation, yun na. Magpaparaya ako sa iyo. Alam mo, sabi niya, alam mo na-realize ko rin na dapat ikaw masunod. nag na naman kami. Lose small to win big. It's also parenting. Who are parents here? Can you see the hands of parents? There you go. You lose small to win big. Parents, we lose sleep for our children. Nako, we also lose pride and prestige when we wash the butt of our children. Diba? Sa opisina, ikaw ang presidente. Sa bahay, tagahugas ng... Diba? Who, who among you here, you have kids who are teenagers already? Can I see the hands? May mga teenager. Very good. Naalala nyo sila nung maliit pa sila. They demanded time from you. Do you remember that? Sasabihan ka nung anak mo, Mommy, Daddy, I have a program in school. Do not go to work. I want you to attend. Bring the video camera with you. Ikaw naman, uh, what will you do in the program? I'm the rock. Ano anak? Bato. <laughs> ano gagawin mo? Katayo lang. Eh, ba't video pa? Basta. Di ba? They demanded time from us. Nung teenager na, naalala nyo? Mommy, Daddy, I have a program in school. Do not attend. Di ba? Bakit? Nakabahag siya. <laughs> Ayaw niya. Pero that is parenting. We lose small. We lose our time. We lose our money. So that we will win big. Ang problema, we want to win small and we lose big. 
who are mothers here? Can you see the hands of mothers? Ayan ang mga nanay. Di ba minsan malabo ang mga nanay? Aminin. Di ba? Papagalitan mo yung anak mo. Anak! Hanapin mo ang pinahahanap ko. Pag hindi mo nakita, makikita mo. So yung bata, ano? Pag hindi ko makita, makikita ko. Litong-lito. Sasabihan mo ba, pag hindi mo nakita, pagdating ng daddy mo, makikita mo. Sabi nung bata, dala pala ni daddy, hanap ako na hanap. Malalabo. Who are fathers here? Can I see the hand? Iyan di. Malalabo rin minsan. Papagalitan mo yung anak mo. Anak, saan ka galing? Ba't gabi na ha? Sumagot ka. Ba't gabi ka na umuwi? Saan ka galing? Sagot! Galing po ako. Marunong ka ng sumagot! <laughs> Tinanong mo eh. We have to lose small so that we will win big. It is also the same with servanthood, serving in ministry, in community, serving in the Lord. You lose for a purpose. You lose time. You lose rest to take care of your flock, to take care of your household. Diba? May mga household members kayo na matitigas ang ulo. Sinabi mo ng ganitong oras, iba ang darating. Diba? Tapos kailangan mo sunduin, pakainin, ilibre. Ano sila, mga baboy? Diba? Patabang guya. Diba? We lose money. We lose small. But we win big. And what is that big? We bring people to the embrace of God. That is winning big. Magparaya. If you want to be a great leader nowadays, lose small so that you will win big. Can I ask you to tap four people around you? Tapikin nyo ha? Sabi mo sa kanya, magparaya, 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 magparaya. Now let me bring out something in me that I need to tell you guys. Because I love you so much. I love your community. I need to tell you this. This is coming from my expertise as a master's in theology, major in pastoral theology. Isa ho sa regalo ng Diyos sa akin ay ang kaalaman sa church systems. May alam ako ng konti. Konti lang. Gusto ko yung kwento sa inyo. Alam nyo, ginawa namin sa community namin, sa Light of Jesus, we made a big decision, kaming elders, to step back and allow the young people to sing their songs in our gathering. Nag-step back kami. At sabi namin, yung kanta nyo ang kantahin natin, kahit gano'ng kabilis, kahit gano'ng kalakas, mag-step back kami. Bakit? Because we want our children to be here in our community. My dear friends, after singles ministry ng community nyo, nadadala nyo ba sila sa Couples for Christ ministry nyo? Bakit? Because you are singing their songs the way they wanted it. Ay, iba yon. Iba yung gusto natin. Kasi ang gusto natin, ganyan-ganyan lang. Ganyan. Yan ang gusto natin. Ay, sila iba. Ganun-ganun sila. Yung talaga hindi mo maintindihan. Ano ba yan? Ang ingay. Pag naingayang ka na, 
Maganda na yung ginagawa nyo. Pag naingayang ka na, matanda ka na. And that will be beautiful for our community. Nagdesisyon kami, ang kakantahin natin sa stage ay kanta ng mga bago ngayon. Mga bago na. Huwag na yung luma. Yung luma pag tayo-tayo na lang. Pero pag big gathering, let the young sing their songs. And we will worship the Lord with them. Why? Because we love the young people. We want our children to stay in our community that we love. Amen? Amen. Magparaya. So nagparaya kami. Kahit binging-bingi kami. Bakit? Kasi dyan darating ang mga bata. Music is so powerful. We will bring the young people to the Lord. But if we sing our old music, they won't. They will not. Nagtok ako sa aming parokya, sa aming diocese. Mga pari ang kausap ko. Sabi sa akin ng obispo, Aaron, turuan mo nga ang mga kaparihan ko ng ano po, bishop. Turuan mo nga mag-preach. Ang boboring. Sabi ko, nakakatakot naman ho, bishop. Yeah. Turuan mo lang sila. So tinuruan ko, konti lang. Pagkatapos, I opened the floor for Q&A. Believe me, no one asked me about preaching. You know what they asked me about? How to run their parish. Merong isang pare nagtanong, ganito itsura niya, parang galit. Sabi niya, Aaron, bakit ba mga kabataan namin, hindi pumupunta sa parokya, pumupunta sa inyo, sa community niyo? Ganun. Sabi ko kasi po sa amin, Father, Full band. May banda kami. At ang music namin, very uplifting sa kanila. Kaya sabi ko sa kanila, kung gusto niyo pong dali ng mga kabataan kay Lord sa parish, huwag niyo pong gamitin ang speaker. They don't care about the speaker. They don't even know who the speaker is. Ito ho ang promotion sa kanila. Sabihin niyo, libre ang pagkain. Free pizza and full band. Pupunta yan sila. Ngayon, kung gusto niyo mga matatanda ang dumating sa event niyo, sabihin niyo, may raffle. <laughs> Alam mo, lahat sila tawa ng tao at palakpak na palakpak. Kasi totoo. If you want to target young people, tell them there's food. Tell them we are singing your music. Ito yung nagpaparaya. Tayo yung mga may edad na kay Lord, step na tayo. Atras na. Bakit? I will sacrifice for my children. It is this community I am building, it is for them. But if they are transferring to the born again because of their music that we can also sing, ay, kailangan tayong mag-isip. Atras tayo konti. Magparaya tayo at sabihin natin, sa mga chapter meeting, singles kayong tumugtog. Atras na kami. Kami na lang yung iba, kayo na. Tapos na yung panahon namin. Tingnan nyo yung katabi nyo, sabi mo, tapos na panahon mo. Lose small to win big. This is very, very crucial. This is the second one, leadership belief. The second one is I may be wrong. Sabi nyo nga sa katabi nyo, I may be wrong. I give talks in corporations. Pagkatapos kong mag-talk, sa mga bankers po ito ha, the top people of the banks, nandun lahat. Ako yung unang speaker, bigay akong talk. Pagkatapos kong mag-talk, pumunta ako sa likod. Yung next speaker na, nakasalubong ko siya. Lalaki, kinamayan ako at sabi niya, ganda-ganda ng talk mo, may edad na talaga. Tapos pumunta siya sa harap. 
Alam mo ginawa niya? Umo na upuan. Umupo at nagtok. Sino yung nagtok na yon? Very credible in their economy. Alam mo lahat ng kausap niya, top people in the bank sa sulat ng papel, sulat sa papel. Lahat ng binibitawan niya. Tapos ako, I was at the back listening. Listening, sabi ko grabe oh. Alam mo sabi, isang sabi niya ganito kasi mga bangko eh. Sabi niya, Batangas will be the next Makati. So abangan niyo yung Batangas. Lahat sulat lahat. Tapos bibitaw siya kasi itong tao na to, guru yan eh. He's a guru of this uh, industry. So lahat ng bitawan niya, susulat nila bakit? Kasi noong araw lahat ng binitawan niya nangyayari ngayon. So everybody's excited, copying, writing everything this man was saying. But you know, at the end, what he said, sabi niya ganyan, dami ko sinabi sa inyo, sinulat niyo lahat. Pero just like what Mr. Aaron Gogna said, I may be wrong. <laughs> Bura sila kagad, binura nila. <laughs> I may be wrong is another way of saying, let us be humble. Let us be humble. You know, in Matthew 20, verse 26, it says, If you want to be great, you must be the servant of all others. Leaders who are here, two things about humility. A humble servant is always extinguishing. Can you say extinguishing? extinguishing. Think of a candle, yung kandila. By giving its light, it's extinguishing itself. It's growing smaller and smaller and smaller until it's gone. Wala na. Pero nagbigay. Leaders are the same. We serve and we grow smaller and smaller and smaller until we are gone. Wala na. If you are here today and you have any kind of authority here in the community, in your office, in the family, in your parish, if you have, there's one thing you need to remove from your heart. Remove this from your heart. And what is that? The poison of entitlement. Pag leader, palaging may entitlement. Isa yan sa mahirap sa ating mga top leaders. Feeling natin we're always entitled. Yan ang binabantayan ko sa sarili ko. Bakit? 16 years old pa lang ho ako. Leader na ako ng community namin. Ang bata akong naging leader. It, it gets to my head. The poison of entitlement. Dahil leader ako, bantayan nyo ako, sundan nyo ako. If you go to Feast Bellevue, you will be shocked by how people treat me. Minsan trato ng tao sa iyo yun eh. Kaya kailangan bantayan ko sa sarili. Tingnan niyo ako ha, may lumalapit sa akin. Pinupunasan ako. Nagmumukha ako santo. ba? Kaya kailangan ko bantayan sarili ko na hindi. I, I, I'm just a human being. I cannot believe that I should be entitled. Seniority as a parent, as a boss, as a leader, they make us Feel entitled. Our higher position or authority make us feel that we deserve special treatment. But that is wrong. Naalala ko ang ninong ko, ninong namin sa kasal, si Father Eric Santos, yung maliit na pare, the late Father Eric Santos. If you've heard him speak, he's the funniest priest in the world. My gosh, nakakatawa. May kinwento siya sa amin. One time, nandun siya sa parokya niya. Sa tundo. Naka-t-shirt. Tinitingnan niyo yung kanyang simbahan. May chinicheck siya. May pumasok daw. Doon niya. Yung talagang the works. Doon niya. Lapit sa kanya. At sabi, Totoy. <laughs> so, eh, maliit lang si Father Eric. Nagulat siya. Totoy. Totoy. Halika rito. Lapit naman siya. Sabi niya, bakit po? Nasa ng pare? Tawagin mo nga ang pare. Sabi niya, sandali lang po. Father Eric, pasok sa loob. Nagsuta na. At sabi niya, ha! Pahiya ka ngayon. Alam mo, pagbalik niya, napatingin sa kanya yung donya At sabi, ay! 
totoy sa Kristan ka pala. My dear brothers and sisters, seniority is not a call to be entitled, but to be extinguished. Because seniority is servanthood. Amen. Tayo mga leaders, alam ko, you are reaching your 40th anniversary. Yung iba sa inyo, nasa fetus pa lang ng magulang nyo, CFC na. Di ba? May edad ka na. Ano na yan? Umaalis-alis ka na ng konti. Let others shine. Kayo naman, I'm here to love you. We are here. You can ask us about wisdom, but it's your turn. We have to give it to our young people. We cannot be entitled leaders because we will not last. Second about humility is this. A humble leader is always appreciating. I want you to, to look at this statement, my dear friends. You have reached what you've reached because your feet stand on the shoulders of your elders. Amen? Can I ask the new International Council, wherever you are seated now, can you stand up, please? The new International Council. Yan, sila po ang mga bagong leaders ng ating community. I would just like to humbly tell you this, just to remind you, I know you know this already, that you are standing on the shoulders of the previous leaders. Never ever forget that. So that you will always be grateful. Kaya ako nandito ngayon. Kasi yung mga nag-umpisa nito, dinala kami dito. Hindi nyo itong minana na ganito kalaki. Merong nagbigay sa inyo niyan. And if you hold on to this, you will always be humble. You will always serve God's people. And you will be great leaders amongst them. Give a big hand to them for saying yes. Thank you. God bless you. Remember this. Your starting line was their finishing line. It was their finish line. So great leaders are grateful leaders. I may be wrong. Ang sarap sabihin yan, pag magulang ka, kaya mo eh. Sabihin mo, anak, I'll tell you this, ganyan. Pero pwedeng mali ako, ha? Pwedeng mali ako. Galing no, no? Yung isang, that's really wisdom. Kaya mo magsabi, I may be wrong. I may be wrong. Itong boyfriend mo, tinan mo naman. <laughs> Itong girlfriend mo, anak. <laughs> Talaga, tao ba yan? I may be wrong. <laughs> Let me introduce the third life-changing leadership belief. By asking you, look at the screen, everybody, if you have done the following. Huh? Sige. Bumibili ka ba ng Vix Candy triangular ang shape? Naalala nyo yan? <laughs> Next, meron kang espadril na sapatos at Grosby rubber shoes. Ayan, no? Ayan ang mga meron, ha? Ito yung isa. Umiinom ka ng gusto root beer, Santa Merinda Orange, and Sarsi with egg. Alright. Next, pinapanood mo ang Caronia Nail Polish sa TV. Aba, kinanta pa? Alam na alam, no? Ito yung next. Paborito mo ang Uncle Bob's Lucky 7 Club Show sa Channel 7. Next, naabutan mo ang Love Bus, JD, and DM Bus Lines. Naalala nyo, ha? Next, Royco Chicken Noodle Alphabet Soup ang kinakain mo pag may lagnat ka. 
Ito, tingnan nyo kung naabutan nyo. You shut off your TV and watch the white spot in the middle of the screen slowly disappear. Then you close the cabinet. Pag yung katabi nyo, hindi alam to, mahirap yan, mahirap. Next, bumibili ka ng Katleya notebook sa Alimars and Gibson's Bookstore. At ito yung huli. Pag Pasko, aliw na aliw ka sa COD sa Cubao. Tingnan mo yung katabi mo. nag -yes ba siya? If you said yes to any one of those, then it is crucial that you follow the third leadership belief. And what is that? Let us experiment. Let us do something new. Kasi yung kinalakihan natin, pwedeng hindi na siya nag-work ngayon. Kailangan na nating palitan. But a true leader has this in his spirit. Let us experiment. Subukan nga natin. Hindi pwedeng hindi, hindi yan ginagawa nung araw. Basta ngayon lang, iwag na yan. May bago kami sa hindi pwede. Let us experiment. Let me tell you a story. Kilala nyo ba ito? Si George Eastman. In 1888, 1888, George Eastman founded Kodak. Naalala niyo yung Kodak? O magkodakan na, kodakan, kodakan, di ba? He founded Kodak. Papano? Listen. George was going on a trip and he wanted to take photos. But at that time, cameras were huge and heavy. Plus, you have to take bottles of chemicals with you just to take pictures. Nung araw ganyan, pag gusto mo magpicture, may stand, malaki, boom, sumasabog pa. Kaya yung mga tao, napapaganon. <laughs> Tapos kung gusto mong i-develop, kailangan may dala kang mga chemicals. So si George, sabi niya, hindi pwede ganyan. He invented the camera that can take photos using a roll of film. Yun lang, makakukuha mo na yung picture. But you know, when he showed this to a professional, to the professional photographers, all of them said, this is poor quality. Tapos itong sabi nila, it is too grainy. Masyadong grainy. Hindi katulad doon sumasabog, pinumpino. Ito grainy. Alam mo ang sagot ni George? Sabi niya, well, I'm not making a camera for professionals. I am making a camera for the ordinary people who wants to take simple photos during a trip. Long story short, his product was a mega hit and it took the world by storm. The reason why almost all of us have cameras in our hands is indirectly because of George Eastman. Bakit? Nag-experiment siya. And for the next 100 years, Kodak dominated the industry. Actually, Kodak was almost the entire industry. In 1976, 85% of all the film in the world came from Kodak. Here's what many don't know. Pakinggan nyo, ha? Kodak was so good. As early as 1975, a Kodak engineer invented digital photography. 1975, isang engineer ng Kodak na imbento niya ang digital photography. Pinakita niya sa mga executives, top leaders ng Kodak. At alam mo, inisnab siya. Alam mo ang sagot nila? Well, it is too grainy. Parehong pareho. It is too grainy. It is blurry. Tsaka, why will we do that? It will hurt our industry. Ayaw nila. So, itinabi nila. But that was the day 
when Kodak was doomed to be a dinosaur, na extinct ang Kodak, by 2012, the great Kodak declared bankruptcy. They forget that 100 years ago, they were born because George Eastman experimented, upgraded. Brothers and sisters, leaders, servants in the Lord, when you stop upgrading, you become a dinosaur. Tingnan niyo yung katabi niyo. Mukha bang dinosaur na? Let us experiment. Can you tap seven people around you? Pag sinabi kong seven people, tatapikin niyo, hindi pwedeng nakaupo. Tatayo kayo niyan. Hindi abot ng kamay niyo ang pitong tao. Kaya when I ask you to tap seven people and tell them, let us experiment, stand up and do it now. Go! Let us experiment! 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 Remain standing. Give the Lord a big hand for His Word, His teaching. Remain standing as I end, as I end my talk. Isa ho sa mga privileges na binigay ng Diyos sa akin, at alam ko, alam nyo rin yan, na tayo ay mga leaders sa simbahan ng Panginoon, the Kingdom of God. Isa sa mga privileges ay ito. Lumalapit yung mga tao sa atin, sa akin. Binubuhos lang nila yung sama ng loob at dala nila sa buhay. Kahit di nila ako masyadong kilala. Ang dami ko nakukuha online at pag mga taong nasa harap ko, yan ang dinadaing. Minsan may lumapit sa akin, iyak lang. <laughs> iyak lang. Ako mamaya naiiyak na rin. <laughs> Pagkatapos niya umiyak, sabi niya, ba't ka umiyak? Sabi ko, hindi ko alam. <laughs> Nararamdaman mo lang. Ang trabaho ko is not to give advices. My job is to just feel the person. My job is not, not to interrupt. My job is just to listen. Minsan may lalapit sa akin, tapos sasabihin talaga, Brother, bakit ganon? Hindi nakikinig ang Diyos sa aking panaghoy. Ang lalim. Sabi ko, Sisa, ikaw ba yan? Ha? Ang lalim mag-Tagalog. So pag dumadaing sila, hindi ako sumisingit. Pinababayaan ko lang sila. Nakikinig lang. Pero pag ito ang sinabi nila, hindi ko ito kayang tiisin. Kailangan ko mang himasok. Pag may lumapit sa akin, tapos sinasabing ganyan, bakit brother ang Diyos? Hirap na hirap na ako sa buhay. Hindi nagsasalita. Tulog ba siya? ay pag narinig kong sinabing tulog ba ang Diyos, ay hindi ko matiis. Hinahawakan ko sa balikat yan. Tapos sinasabi kong, sikapin mo, pilitin mo, tibayan ang iyong puso. Tanging ikaw ang huhubog sa iyong bukas. Huwag mo sanang akalaing natutulog ba ang Diyos ang buhay mo ay mayroong alaga sa Kaniya. Tapos alam niyo gagawin niya, magpupunas ng luha, tapos sasabihin pa, autograph. <laughs> Look at me, my dear friends. I don't know what you are going through. I don't know your fears, your sorrows, your pain. But this is what I'm sure of. 
you are never alone. God will send help for you. Di ka nag-iisa dyan. At meron pa akong isang pinaniniwalaan. Tingnan nyo yung screen. I believe in this, that while I sleep, God is solving my problem. So this is my suggestion to you. Look at me, my dear friends, brothers and sisters. Look at me. This is my suggestion to you. Matulog ka. Paggising ka, give your best. At work, in your career, in your family, in the ministry, when you're awake, give your best. But the best thing to do at the end of the day is to surrender to your God and tell Him, Lord, I have done my best. Now I will rest. Ikaw naman. Tapos tulog ka. Magugulat ka pag gising mo bukas. Hoy! Parang naaayos ang problema. Bakit? Kasi natulog ka. You surrender to your God who is awake every time. May I pray for you? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Close your eyes and just bow down your head. Believe that God is here. He cares for you. And He wants you to surrender to Him all your concerns, all your sorrows, your pain, your troubles. Give it all to Him. Lord, You are here. We, Your servants, Your children, we will never beg from you because we are yours. We are claiming answered prayers right now. And Lord, I pray for my brothers and sisters. You know what they are going through. You know their pain. You know their dreams. You know what is in their heart. Say yes to them, O oh God. Move creation right now and answer their deepest prayers. Comfort them, O Lord. Embrace them. Lift them up. My dear friends, in your silence, I want you to surrender everything to God right now. And as you surrender to Him, He gives you something in return. He gives you His peace. And as He gives you His peace, this is what he tells you. And he said, Cast your burdens upon me, those who are heavily laden. Come to me, all of you who are tired of carrying heavy loads. For the yoke I will give you is easy, and my burden is light. Come to me, and I will give you rest. Oh yes, Lord, we are resting in your embrace today. We are receiving, accepting your grace. We are accepting your love and your joy, oh God. Thank you for renewing us today. We will serve you. You're a mighty God, a powerful God. This is our prayer we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand.